A lot of people want to know what we do on Passage, what we do all day long. So tomorrow we're going to film a day in the life video. It's just a 24 hour snip of us doing whatever we do in the day. School, chores, and night watch. It'll start, it'll start whenever I go, whenever I wake dad up for his watch. So maybe something exciting will happen. We'll catch a fish or I go on my walkabout and I become a man. I'm going to become a man on my walkabout. I tell you a story about me and you Out on the water, surrounded by the blue They scream that only I'll be saved They told myself the line that I just let it float away Yeah, I let it float away I let it float away I let it float away Float away, float away Yeah, I Six o'clock. I'm now off shift. It's now the start of the day for Dad. Well, it's my shift. Good job, Jack. Yeah. yeah Hands the baton to me, the Mac Daddy of them all. Good yeah. Night, Good night, Jack. So it's six o'clock. I just started my shift. Uh, woke up about 5:45. Me and Jack had cell changes to do. The winds just veered to. About uh, 140 true wind direction, which is about 64 degrees apparent. We had the screecher up, and now we uh, rolled that in. It was too much, uh, too high on the wind for that. Got our Genoa out. We got the main reef one time, and we were doing nine and a half knots. All in the mail with uh, 16 knots true wind speed, 18 knots apparent. True wind's almost right on the beam. So my morning started like that about 20 minutes ago. And now I'm gonna go uh, make some breakfast. Kind of really out here, so I'm just gonna make some oatmeal this morning. I'll get that going right now, and then we'll uh, we'll see what else is going on. So in the morning, I I log our position on my shift at six o'clock. That's just what I do every ever since we've been sailing. Every morning, I log our position, how many miles we've been making. That's what I'm gonna do now. Then I start downloading weather for the day. That's how we do that. So I've got all our courses marked from 2017 to uh, to now, and I'm about 40 miles north of our course line that we did in 2017 across here. So that's kind of neat. My oatmeal should be done. Then I'll start checking emails and weather. So we'll go get that going. So that's basically my morning. Get up, make breakfast, check emails, log in my journal. And all I'm logging there is date, position, state of the seas, wind, stuff like that. And any notes, any personal thoughts I might have, I just need to go back and read those from two years ago. And all, all the different things that I wrote down and how I was feeling at the time. It's always good to write how you felt at the time, even if it's silly. Even if it's important then, because you look back on that and you remember that and you think, ah, oh, more mature now or I, under, I came through that or understood that so it's and my kids will have that one day they'll be oh this is dad's journal mom really was crazy I think she really was because dad wrote it that mom was crazy so anyway so that's the morning start three more hours for me and then back to bed hopefully we hold these winds all day long in my room yelling Zuko no Zuko no and I'm like he's oh. pooping on my floor oh no he's peeing on my floor this is the worst that could happen <laughs> what else could this cat be doing and then the scent fish, fish. Oh. he had another fish <laughs> we turn on the light and he's sitting in the corner of my room with his prey <laughs> 
Monday morning. I'm gonna wait a little bit. <laughs> Math quiz. Anna is almost finished with high school. What do you have left? Psychology. Sociology, astronomy. Uh, the distance from the electives. Okay. All right, let's see what you made. Three, Great two, two, one. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? <laughs> Ninety-three. Oh crap. What'd you oh. get? An eighty-seven. Oh. What? I thought you had the same answers. No. Yeah. Doing school. I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. <sighs> Mom, I need help. I got three wrong, so I failed the lesson. Oh. Get wrecked. All right, let's see what you got. Let's check it out. What, what do you got going on today? Here's real busy. Really? Some more of that? Good morning, Jack. Good morning. What you doing? I'm eating a healthy breakfast. Ooh, Doritos for breakfast. Algebra 2. Die. Winning combination. Please die. Kate is trying to do a little bit of laundry. Hopefully it'll dry. Hopefully. And Keith has the fishing lines out, but we're going pretty darn fast. If we do get a bite, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to drop some sails pretty quickly. Pretty quick, quick. This is what we do all day. Sit so around. Kill time. Play games, watch movies, listen to music. Why don't we have any projects going on right now? This is rough. Scotch whiskey. It'd be hard to do projects. Gross. When we're making eight and a half to nine and a half knots. I want a whiskey. Watermaker generator, get her going. Oh. Big Jenny. Out of there it is. Uh, I need the oven. Oh. Uh, we have 290 hours left. That's freaking dope.
kind of rough today, so I'm just going to throw some taquitos in the oven and warm them up. We still have lots of food. We shut down one of the refrigerators, but it's empty now, so we went ahead and turned it off to save uh, battery power. And we still have the Dometic, and that's full of food. This freezer is full of food, and our fridge is full of food. So we really haven't gone through as much food as I thought we would. Um, but we packed so well before this passage that we got more food to last us months, maybe a year. Thousand RPM. It's a big fish right here. Yeah. Not just idle, Anna. Just back to the tick over. Just the tick over now. It's gonna take a while. Put your fingers down. Get my sunglasses, please. Starboard engine. Just, just the tick over. Just the tick over. Just the, just the tick over. Keep the rudder straight. Reverse on the starboard no, engine. No, I got that. Which rudder, direction? Rudder straight. Rudder straight. Jeez, you guys need to work together. Take mm. There you go. There we go. Now we're getting lined up better. Golly. Neutral on the starboard engine. string I had to wind up. I know. into that. It's been leaking. 
and I don't really like that back door because now I'm stuck. There's multiple sinks in the house. Let's see what Captain's doing. End of the day. Yeah. Are you are you do, are you learning something? Are you like learning a skill, or is this like educational? Mm -hmm. What are you watching? Show. That is bloody. Bloody. Bloody hell. Bloody hell, mate. All right. Okay, what movie is that? I don't know. More movie. We're gonna see what Jack's doing. Hey. hey. What are you doing? I want to pass the crew. Are you a pirate? I right. wanna be. Yeah? How cool is that? Cool. Oh, when are you gonna go to bed? It's only eight. It's only eight. I don't know. When Maybe. do you usually go to bed? Tell everybody when you usually go to bed. Ten. Nine or ten. Yeah? Okay, cool. So we are flying at ten and a half knots, almost eleven knots. I mean, this is crazy. Um, so every once in a while I'll just come out here and look for boats and Look for storms. It's just kind of weird to know when you go to bed on passage, you go to sleep, and you wake up, and you're still moving forward. You're still traveling. You lay down in bed in the afternoon, take a nap, and you wake up, and you're still going forward. Sailing is such a weird thing. It's so unusual for a lot of people when you tell them, oh, we live on a sailboat, and we are sailing around the world. But to us, it's just kind of normal now, obviously, on passages especially, because pretty much the same thing day after day after day but I really like it I I do get tired of um, the seasickness that only comes the first day or two and then it tends to go away we none of us have been sick for the last week and the rolling you know the instability that gets that gets old it gets uncomfortable but just the adventure of it the, the peacefulness just knowing that you're out here on the blue thousands of miles away from anybody <laughs> Jeez, you messed up my monologue. I was getting really deep and profound. What are you doing, peeing? Anyway, it's kind of a neat lifestyle. It's different for sure. But right, I'm going to go sit with my husband under the stars. So I typically read and work on video during my night shift. And it's midnight now, so I'm gonna go get Anna up and she'll have the next shift from 12 to three. Hey, it's your turn. Come on. Hi. It's Anna's shift now. I She's taking over. Shift. I'm going to bed. Zero heading, basically on the run line. He said it's fine to parallel it. And uh, just make sure to step out there once in a while. Okay. Okay, good night. Good night. It's 3 a.m. It's your mm. shift. Not much is going on. Oh, they just. You have an email from Lily. <sighs> Really? It's been kind of pouring rain and being all funky, so if the wind shifts back to um back around to the beam, you need to pull the jib in a little bit. Okay. Just to trim it up. And that's it. Just kept all the hatches shut because it's been raining on and off. Okay. Have fun. I'm going to bed. Mm -hmm. So it's my shift. It's currently uh, 4.30, halfway through. Uh, it's quite wavy, really windy. We have half, half of the jib out. So we're cruising along seven and a half. Haven't been doing much, just casual sailing, you know. That'll just about wrap it up for the 
for the day in the life video. Hope you guys liked it. Mom put a lot of effort into it. She tries her hardest at it. So, that's about it. See you guys later. Hey guys, welcome to this week's Q&A. We're out here in the middle of the Pacific doing our crossing. It's been a great crossing so far. We're gonna start this week's Q&A with Mr. Scott Hamilton. Scott asks, is there places to leave your boat so you can go work when you're in the South Pacific? There's lots of places. Tahiti has some really nice marinas in Papiete. Uh, Fiji's got some nice marinas. Uh, and there's some other marinas, I'm sure, in different places that you can go leave your boat and feel perfectly safe leaving your boat there. Scott, we want to thank you for watching and thanks for the question. Next on the question list is from Mr. Alfred Youngberg. He asked, did we ever install 1800 extra watts of solar? No, we haven't done that yet. That was going to be a bigger project when we were in Florida and I haven't got that done yet. I want to do it, but I haven't got it. He also asked, uh, what do you do about pirates and hostels and could you rig a spray diesel thing up and throw a flare at them? Well, you know, you probably could, but you might risk getting diesel on yourself and that fire spread across the water hit diesel on the boat and then you're in trouble what we do to evade, evade pirates and evade things like that is, is uh we just stay away from places if we ever did come across pirates which we thought we did here a couple weeks ago We evade. We, we, we can turn down wind. We can sail pretty fast on the wind and uh, we try to stay together with our buddy boats in places that are kind of nervous. So, hey, there are children on this boat. We have had enough. <laughs> but anyway, just be careful, be on watch and, 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 and pay attention. You got to be prepared. That's right. I'm not talking Boy Scout prepared. I mean, big time prepared. Well, prepare for any kind of normal... Yeah, that's the Caribbean, guys. El Carib. Spanish Maine. It's the land of voodoo and hoodoo and all kind of weird shit. Whoa! The next question is from Miss Rachel Green. And she asks from Houston. Hey, Houston, I bet it's hot down there right now. Or getting hot. She asks, how do you know what spare parts to bring? And, and how, how do you know to run lean and mean and, and stuff like that? Well, Rachel, that's a good question. And, and let me tell you how, how we do that. Out here on the water, almost anywhere, you can get the major parts you need for things. So the things that are, the, you know, most of the things that break out here aren't, uh, aren't emergency things, what we call aircraft on the ground, where you've got an aircraft on the ground and it's got to get back to running or you know, something like that. It's not an emergency situation. Now, parts for like a water maker, that's an emergency thing, and you'd want to carry spares for that water maker. The things like an extra electrical motor, so the pump parts, some electrical pump parts, or the, the, the actual piston pump parts, and the centrifugal pump parts that go with your water maker. Those are critical issues. If you, uh, if you have uh, one generator on board, you want to keep extra parts for that generator. Anything that's mission critical, that you don't want to wait two or three weeks to get. You want to carry spares for that. And most of the things you can get anywhere in the world now. You can get stuff shipped to you just about anywhere. So you don't have to just load up with a whole bunch of spares. But things that are mission critical that you don't want to be waiting on, you want to carry those spares. And there's not a whole lot of that kind of stuff. It's just a few things like that. And, and, and that's the way it is. Rachel, once again, thanks for watching. Great question. I hope that answered your question. And we're going to move on to the next one. Next one's just a shout out to Charlie and Michelle Wilson. We want to reach out to you guys and say hello. Charlie is a highway patrolman and Michelle is a dispatcher for the highway patrol out there in California where I hope he doesn't write too many tickets. Anyway, Michelle and Charlie brought it to our, our, our attention that, that May is Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month. And it's dear, dear to their hearts because they, Michelle, suffers from cystic fibrosis and we just, uh, Really, our hearts go out to you for that. Uh, there's around, according to Michelle, there's around 32,000 people nationwide that suffer from cystic fibrosis and another 70,000 in the world that suffer from that disease. So it's not a real well advertised, uh, promoted uh, uh, disease out there. And we, we just want to bring awareness to that for them. And we appreciate you guys watching our show, Charlie and Michelle. And uh, like I said, keep writing those tickets, keep that those tickets flowing out there in California. I want to give a little shout out to my little granddaughter, Ophelia and her mama Tay and my son in love Ben. I hope they're doing great. They got a brand new baby girl named Ophelia and she's just so pretty. 
I hadn't got to see her. I missed her birth, and I'm in the doghouse for that, but I'm going to get to see her and hold her and give her kisses. But I want to give a shout out to them. They're dear to our hearts, and so is Ophelia. We think about her every day, and we think about Tate, and the son in love, Ben, of course. Hey guys, if you like what you're seeing, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and share it with your friends and family. We appreciate everybody that watches, and stay tuned next week as we finish up our Pacific Crossing. Thanks a lot, and we look forward to seeing you guys out there. Thank you.